I'm here to warn people. You keep telling me to shut up. This isn't a game. From the front lines of the information war, it's Alex Jones. You know, last night when I was watching Weldon Henson at the uh, Broken Spoke, I just said, thank God I'm from Texas. And thank God, I was thinking, I'm not bragging, I was just thinking how good my family is. And just how good old-fashioned American culture is. Everybody would just leave their wallets and their purses. There's no surveillance cameras. Just leave them all over their tables. And, and the place was about 80% full of folks uh, dancing. And it, it's where George Strait got his start. And the ceiling's falling in. And nobody steals anything. Because everybody is in to not being a criminal. Everybody's in to being honorable. Everybody's in to being somebody you can trust. And I tell you, that's what life is all about. And, and you know, I, growing up, I'd kind of get irritated by people that were all hat and no cattle and all that stuff. But at least they're trying to mimic what's left of that old culture that my grandfathers were part of, that their grandfathers were part of. And uh, it's just such a good culture compared to the culture we've got now. And that's why the whole system, Hollywood, you name it, Bill Maher attacks country music, attacks country people, attacks Duck Dynasty, attacks it all. Because the idea of rural communities, rugged individuals, people out west, I don't care. Folks all over this land. That's what threatens them. That's what they want to stop. Speaking of police, I barely plugged this, so I'm going to plug it now. We sell the magazine at cost in bulk. And the current InfoWars February edition has yours truly, Alex Jones, dressed up in a uh, riot police uniform with a halo over my head, but the shadow is of the devil. And, and I came up with this basic design. Molly Rogers uh, did the great uh, photoshopping. <clears throat> but the point is, people say, what does it mean? Well, it means that anybody could be a cop. And, and a cop could be a good guy. He could be a bad guy. But it's all about the federalization, globalization of police. This is the police issue it's got a bunch of other articles in it, but it's really designed to get police to think about the different roles they could be in. The oath of office, the future cop, Utah police obtain grenade launchers, cop gives homeless man boots, officer friendly versus the police state. Good cops are out there. Uh, we got examples of good cops. Think tank, uh, Boehner uh, criticized on Facebook and showing everybody revolted against him. DHS gives Muslim Brotherhood VIP pass, an expansion on that article. Anti-gun, Michael Bloomberg as defense secretary. County sheriff stand up for Second Amendment. Hypocritical Texas DPS. Uh, Obama plans to rule by executive order. Police beat elderly deaf man. Appalachian war zone. And it just goes on and on. Letters to the editor. I mean, it's really a first-rate magazine. And it's a great way to wake people up. Infowarsstore.com. Infowarsstore.com. Hello, this is Hank Hill, and I'm telling you what, you need to listen to Alex Jones. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Infoworth.com. Yeah. <clears throat> hey. <clears throat> Judge, what is the secret of the universe? <laughs> Infoworth.com. Yeah. <clears throat> hey. Last time I checked, they've estimated it was a couple years ago, 500 dead. They tase people all the time and they have a heart attack. And they're tasing people for lower and lower reasons. And again, it's like, well, better do what we say. And that's an act of terrorism. And I'm tired of it. But look, that's all a side issue. What do you think about what I raised earlier, the Hill reporting on Obama climate hubs, federal homeland security fusion centers, to spy on rural areas with NASA with satellites and dispatch uh, hordes of bureaucrats to harass everyone? And then that ties into the announcement and the economists that, oh, all these countries that owe debts that the bankers have taken over our governments and induced us to sign on to, mainly their derivatives, buildings, land, power, state-owned companies, oil, gas, mineral rights, banks, and transport, just like they've done in the third world, give it all in privatization. It's not privatization to say a company is going to buy the land from everybody and build a new reservoir build a canal, and then sell that water. 
and then sell slots for boats and houses. That's a real free market privatization. And then, and then they say, we have our own power plant. And we have our own everything. These companies to do that. No, no, no. They come in and they take over existing systems. They get regulations passed the last 15 years all over Europe and the U.S. to make them upgrade water facilities, to add all these chemicals and all this garbage. And they go, oh, you can't pay for that? We'll take it over. And then they buy it up with fiat derivative money. It's all a giant fraud. And it'd be one thing if it was even fraud and they just built an economy for us to live in, but it's a, it's a controlled, collapsing economy as an economic form of domination as well. So that's just some of what's happening on that front. I would love to hear from you on the information I broke down with just, just the otherworldliness of this UN takeover of our infrastructure like we're a third world country. In fact, I... It's, a, it's about an hour and a half into America Destroyed by Design. It's, it, it's where I'm at the Grand Canyon. Guys, go to YouTube. It's on DVD. We sell the DVD, but I know it's on YouTube, a really low-quality version of it. But go to YouTube, type in America Destroyed by Design, and, and I'll run in there during the break, and I'll scan through it. I can find the spot where I'm at the Grand Canyon. I say, all the buffer areas are being taken, and they will then give our resources in the next 20 to 30 years over to foreign banks with the artificial debt of the Federal Reserve. I am here to warn you. Because they've done this in third world countries over and over and over again. And now they're going, I know what will get us out of a problem economy. All the derivatives that we got you to sign on to, they got us to sign on to their debt. Give us, like Greece, all of your islands, your national parks, your, your infrastructure, and we'll double and triple prices. And we can manage things better than you can. It's been these corporations that managed us into this situation on record this is so crazy so i want to hear from you when we get back uh, on the other side on this subject first time callers you can talk about whatever else you want but i'd like you to humor me on this front or your take on tasers or your take on obamacare being such a screw job and got a bunch of google glasses news coming up as well the toll-free number to join us is 800 259-9231, 800-259-9231, and we will get you up and on the air. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield formulation, fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Uh, we've got Alex Jones discusses downfall of dinosaur media on Jesse Ventura's new show. That video is up there for everybody on InfoWars.com. Uh, we've got huge news. I'm going to play this video at the bottom of the hour. This is big. Senior congressman attempts to get FBI director to say investigative journalism is a crime. We've got Dianne Feinstein also running around trying to strip a real journalist, uh, if they're not uh, New York Times or whatever, uh, of the protections of the press. It is just insane. The press should all rally together and, and protect the First Amendment. Uh, pile of pillows prompts school lockdown. And Don Salazar reports on just the total hysteria. Uh, that the system's creating. I wonder who came in my office and got the phone and put it on a ringer. <laughs> that ringer's never been on. That's just it's like there's gremlins that live in here or something. I have no people come in this office and do all sorts of stuff when they're in here doing uh, radio uh, interviews or TV stuff. Uh, they they use it as a voiceover booth. Who did that? Who used my phone? I want to know. It's just it's, uh, we're gonna find out. It doesn't matter. It's just it's always the microphones over here and papers are over there and they'll be like people's. Coca-Cola cans in here.
We can put like a toilet in here. People can start crapping in here. Excuse me. All right. No, I, I love the crew. I'm sorry. It's like, it's like, I just always want to know why stuff's moved around in here. Anyway, side issue, ladies and gentlemen. I have a landline in here. It has you know, better quality than a, the computer phones we've got out there. Okay, I, I've, I've now really digressed here with that. Uh, we could make this actually a lounge. Put toilets in over there. And then, like, have a guy over there that, like, has perfumes and hands you hand towels. You ever go in, like, a fancy restaurant and they have a bathroom attendant? I don't like that. And I'm washing my hands. They're talking to you. And, you know, and, and it's awkward. Yeah, but we should do that. We should. I don't know why. Just It's like, you know, make my broadcast studio, which is really like my office. We should just turn it into a public toilet. In fact, it shouldn't just be for the rest of the office. We should have, like, a... Uh, a, a building area out there open to the public. How's that sound? Okay, I'm really digressing now. Let's get back to the serious news here. Uh, <laughs> uh, continuing, uh, TSA blasted for dishonest response to whistleblowers' expose uh, video. TSA now hiring even more lazy and abusive screeners. We're going to show you that video, give you a play by play of that coming up. So we're getting a lot of video ready for you. Is Bitcoin a revolutionary uh, game changer or a Trojan horse? I think both. And then a news article that's already scrolled off uh, of Infowars.com's front page. That's a problem with the old design. We've got the new design ready. We're just doing some final tweaks. Uh, there's an article here where Justice Scalia, Supreme Court Justice, confirms American internment camps will happen again. He said, it is a reality. That is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. So we're going to be uh, getting to that as well. But right now, we're taking your phone calls across the map on the police, on the announcements like Greece. They want to take all the public lands and not give it to the public for economic development, but give it to the foreign banks that induced us to sign on to their 1.5 quadrille. That's 1.5 thousand, 1,500 trillion, by the way, boys and girls. But the, 90 plus percent of it is their debt, not our debt. But the public is economically ignorant. So now they're announcing in The Economist, take America and the rest of the world's money and give it to the Davos scallywags that are tax exempt. So we're going to be taking your calls on that and more. Ron in New York, you're on the air worldwide, sir. Thanks for calling. Hey, how are you, Alex? Good. Go ahead. Um, listen, Alex, a friend of mine, totally by accident, came across an operations research technical manual. It's TW. Dash S W seven nine zero five point one. The topic is silent weapons for silent war. Yeah, that's Colonel Alexander. Oh, okay, okay. You have heard of it. Yeah, we've covered it a lot on air. It was declassified, I think, in nineteen ninety eight. Uh, I don't know. It says here. It says uh, silent weapons, silent wars. Uh, programming manual was uncovered quiet. Quite by accident. No, it's silent, was silent weapons for quiet wars. Yes. And then, and then people always take stuff and make derivatives off of it. But that's what soft kill weapons are in the food, the water, so you never know what hit you. That's why they soft kill all the troops with deadly vaccines. That's why statistically troops, you know, just have total kidney failure, organ failure, brain damage. And then they call it PTSD. No, no. In most cases, they're, they've been basically soft murdered. Uh, because you want to retire the weapon once it gets out. You want to debilitate it so they'll fall into the VA and can be slowly reclimated. It's like you spike a cannon. But go ahead, sir. Tell me about it. It goes on. I mean, it, it, it talks about um, economics. Uh -huh. Economic warfare shutting down America. Yeah, it's very it, loving. It, well, economics and shock testing as far as uh, what they do is they raise the price of something and shock test the... Yeah, that's uh, Milton Friedman stuff that then got adopted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I just didn't know if you heard of it. I I haven't heard. I mean, I've been listening for a long time, long time. No, no. I'm glad. No, no. Whenever you, whenever I'm glad you bring up stuff that I know about. A lot of times I don't know about stuff, but but I'm just confirming what you're saying about it. Give us your take on this loving Pentagon document. Uh, well, I gotta tell you, it's very disturbing, and I believe that a lot of people should look it up and investigate it because it tells you, it, you know, yeah, a lot of people walk around and they go, man, why is, why is, you know, always why, what, why are things the way they are? What's, you know, why did that happen? Why did this happen? And this 
tells you the why. This gives you the answer of the why. But everything that happens in your life, I mean, holy education, everything. No, I know. I mean, Listen, you read Rand Corporation stuff on the National Stabilization Force, Military Force, you read Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars. You read Carol Quigley's Tragedy and Hope. You read uh, Between Two Ages. You read The Technotronic Era by Brzezinski. You, I mean, you read Council on Foreign Relations public stuff. It's all spelled out, but in flowery terms. And then that's what's so frustrating. I mean, that's why the police, I'm not mad at the police. <clears throat> They've been brainwashed like everybody else. They're having fluoride put in their water. They're having GMO engineered. They're all dead. They're all walking dead already. Their kids are already dead. Their kids already don't talk to them and watch TV and play video games all day. We're already all dead unless we turn this around. I mean, these GMO crops by the second generation, they're more than half sterile, brain damage, tumors growing all over their bodies, the rats and guinea pigs. We're already going now into second generations being born under this. By the third I mean, it, it's going to be just everybody dying. And so, you, you know, it, 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 it sounds insane, but I've read all their textbooks. They admit how they've done it. And they say in the textbooks that the fact that the public doesn't care they're doing it gives them a right to do it. Under U.S. Code Title 50, Chapter 32, Subsection 1528, Paragraph B. Uh, and they say, you know, this outlaws secret testing of the public unless law enforcement or research purposes. And they say they can kill us for any purposes of research or law enforcement. So, of course, this is a total authoritarian takeover. We're seen as a plague. And to make it a self-fulfilling prophecy, they've dumbed us down so that we will be a plague. And now we're seeing the roll-up of civilization. Does it, does it concern anybody? I'm glad it concerns you, Ron. Anything else on silent weapons for quiet wars? Everything concerns me. I, I called uh, Bob Kelly. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. He's the head of the EPA in Washington. Yes. I finally got through to him. His number is uh, one nine. No, no, we're not going to get we can't get people's numbers out. Listen, I appreciate your call, brother. Uh, here, here's the deal. I'm sure you're a nice caller, but we can't give numbers out because people will do it to prank call people. I'm not saying you do that, but if we let people do it, it'll turn into a. Let's talk, now. If I check the number and see it is a public number, and then we can give the number out. But I just can't do it before I've verified. Trust but verify, as Ronald Reagan said. Matt in California, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. How you doing? Considering. I'm doing all right. I mean, the government loves me, and everything's fine. Yeah. All right. Well, I just uh, yeah, I just wanted. To, I've been a listener about four years, um, first time caller. But yeah, I just want to talk about. I don't know if you heard, but it looks like here in Palm Springs, uh, the uh, you know the elite have found kind of a new uh, hiding ground. You know, a little castle to do their uh, secret meetings. We got. Uh, in Rancho Mirage here on February 14th, uh, Obama is meeting with the jo uh, King of Jordan. Um, so uh, I, I was going to, I want to try to make it out there to protest. I was going to see if you wanted to rally some, you know, Southern Californians to protest. Uh, he was, Obama was in town a couple months ago with the, uh, the president of China. And uh, there was a lot of people protesting the Chinese president, but I didn't see anyone protesting Obama. So I, I think around here, people just seem to, you know. Well, that's because you're not allowed to protest him in China. So the Chinese immigrants and people appreciate being able to protest here in America. Um, but uh, yeah, people should protest Obama. They should protest all of it. They should protest Obama trying to make it mandatory that all cars activate the tracker boxes for car-to-car -car communication to, to start taxing us by the mile. That story's up on Infowars.com. I mean, it's all coming down. They know people are starting to wake up, so they're trying to push the entire agenda through right now. Right. Well, yeah, thanks. I uh, just wanted to talk about that. Um, do you mind if I give out the website of where that place is? Sure. It's uh, www.sunnylands.org. S U N N Y L A N D S. It's like a like a little castle. It's all walled off, and so. Uh, but yeah, anyway, thanks for the fighting the good fight, and uh, keep keep trucking. Thank. You. God bless you, brother. Listen, I'm not even fighting the good fight here. I mean, we are being targeted for soft kill, incremental ambient extermination. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV.
More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at InfoWars.com show.